and welcome to Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting. Today I'm going to be doing a really, really colorful painting. Um, I have an example of it on the side. Um, and what I want to do is, after I painted this, I said, oh, I might not like this so much and I might not like that. So what I'm doing is I'm using it just as an example for my coloring and I'm just going to kind of wing it. And uh, I know I want to paint an iris, so um, follow along with me. We're going to be putting all the paint colors I'll be using uh, along the bottom of the screen. I'm using a variety of deco art um, paints today and um, the traditions brushes. Okay, so we are going to have a full list. So let me just jump right in and start painting and um, stay till the end so you can see the finished product. All right, so I won't be able to lift up my, um, my palette, okay, because I don't want my paint dripping all over. So I will mention the paints I'm using as we're going, and like I said, you'll see them on there um, on your screen. Here we go. So I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to be loading a big one, number one brush, okay? This is a flat brush. So all I did was put a whole lot of paint on it. Beautiful, beautiful pink called peony pink. And I'm just going to come across and I want to fill all these little grooves, these tooth, it's called the tooth of the canvas. And today I'm using a, a um, Frederick's canvas, red label, very, very nice canvas for acrylics and, acrylics and oil. And I'm just going to start covering this canvas. And I really like the idea of um, not having brush strokes, okay, for this painting. So what I'll do is when I see my brush strokes, all I have to do is go back and lightly blend, okay? And that's how you can get rid of the brush strokes. So uh, like I say, every one of my shows, when you're at home, take your time. I see a little hair got in there. All I have to do is lift it up with the end of the brush, wipe it on a little paper towel, and go back and smooth right over. So, so far, I am not using any blender medium, okay? I do have an extender medium that will help the paint not dry so fast, and so far, I'm not using it, all right? So we're gonna see if we need it in a little while. So far, so good. And again, I'm going to just go lightly over to get rid of those brush strokes, and you can see I'm doing a big sweeping X. So when I do this, that means I don't have enough paint. You can see it's dry, okay? So what I want to do now is I want to start adding a beautiful color. I'm going to say they're all beautiful because they are all beautiful colors. And this one is called Bright Salmon, and it is a really nice orange. You can see I did not wash the brush. No reason to, because I'm just going to come in here and again, lightly kind of feather some in. So I'm just kind of using my painting that I did at home as just a little bit of an example, okay? I wanted to see the colors together. I know I wanted to do something nice and bright and use a lot of new colors from Deco Art, and this is what I came up with. And I look at this and I think of the Sherbert colors. I love the orange um, with the pink. All right, here we go again with the X, and I'm doing an X stroke because I want to fill in the tooth of the canvas. This way, when I paint on top of it, it's nice and smooth. And I think that looks really pretty, those colors. Now I'm going to feather this down into a lighter color. And this lighter color is called um, peach, peaches cream. Peaches and cream, sorry, peaches and cream. And you can see it's a light orange. So now here's my darker orange, here's my lighter orange. So in between is where I'll start blending. You can see I still have that pink in there too. That's good, that's okay. And I'm just going to blend, see, lightly, lightly. And that's how I'm blending those colors. If some of that pink comes out, that's fine too. Some of this, well actually a lot of this may be covered and I'm not sure, because like I said, I'm gonna change this painting around a little bit. So we'll see what happens. And so far, it's beautiful colors. I can see doing even sunset colors like this with some um, palm trees and maybe a tiki hut. When you, when, when you start to use the colors, you'll think of other, other paintings you'll want to do. And this one's coming out even brighter than my other one, and I think that's great. I love the brightness of it. Okay, so now we're going to come down here, and I'm just going to leave this peach in the brush, and I'm going to go into some light avocado and just fill in this bottom. All right, there we go. Just to have that little illusion that maybe some grasses are starting to grow. And this is a very whimsical painting, okay? So nothing is accurate or to scale. It's just the idea of using some beautiful colors and for me to teach you a nice beginner lesson, 
All right, I do want to show you how you can blend those colors together very lightly in between. That pulls the peach down and some of the green up. The more you blend, of course, you'll mix the, all the colors together. So you don't want to over blend either. But you'll get the hang of that. The more that you paint, you'll get the hang of not over blending. Okay, so I think that looks really pretty. I'm going to just put this brush in my bucket of water. On the bottom of the bucket, there's a grating. And I'm just going to rub it back and forth against the grating. Okay, and this is very important. When you have your brushes full of paint, like I just filled up that, that brush with paint all the way up to the ferrule, you need to make sure you scrub to get it out of here. If the paint goes in the ferrule, the brush gets ruined, okay? It gets hard and ruined. So you really have to have a nice bucket to make sure that you really scrub that paint out, okay? So I think I may have got most of it out. I may have to do that again in a little bit, but it's nice and damp. As long as it stays damp, I could always go back to that. So I can see that this is already drying, okay? So I think what I'll do first is I'm going to put the iris on, and then we can work around from the iris. So I, I have a variety of brushes here, and this is a number 12 flat brush. I'm going to try it with this brush and see how we do. And I'm just going to test it. It's starting to tack up a little. I should be okay. Now, for the iris, I'm going to use a premium DecoArt paint, which is uh, dioxazine purple, and I'm using some wisteria. And what I did was I just dipped each side in both of the colors, both of the colors there. And I'm just going to go back and forth, and I'm just going to dip again. I want to have a lot of paint on here. And I'm going to just do kind of a, um, what you maybe call like a wild iris, you know, just kind of a little floppy. And we'll see how that comes out. So. Um, if my hand is blocking, I'll try to turn and see if I could do another, another leaf, another direction, okay? So just for the first one, I think I'll come about here, and I'm just going to push and wiggle and wiggle and pull it up, all right? I'll go back, get more paint. I need a lot of paint for this to make sure I cover, all right? So now this side, I'll try to stand over the side and see if I can wiggle it up. Wiggle, 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 and up, okay? So... I might have made that look a little easy. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not so easy. What I suggest you do is you um, get some, some wrap or um, something that's um, like a palette paper, uh, any kind of plastic, even glass, and practice. Practice a little bit before you go to your canvas. Now, this side I actually can go over and try to blend it even more, or I could just leave it. So I think I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so I always tell my students, if something looks pretty good as it is, don't try to make it even better because you end up making it worse. All right, so I'm just going to leave that, and I'm just loading a lot more paint on there, and I'm going to come over and do another petal on this side. So I'll try to turn this way, and hopefully you'll be able to get it, and I'm going to do the same wiggling stroke. So I'm holding it up, and I'm wiggling, 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 and then I'm just going to pull it down, okay? Now, I may not have an, I, enough paint on that, okay? So you can see I dug in a little, maybe from the angle I was in on there, and that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to put more paint on my brush, I'm going to go back and do that again. Here we go. Wiggle, 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 and I'm going to pull it back down and in. Now, I'm going to start up again like this because I want to cover in that little spot. Okay, so again, I picked up the paint. We'll cover that up later. I'm just going to wipe off my brush a little. I have a little excess. So you can see the coloring on the brush is still like half and half. So I'm just dipping and dipping. Okay, there's my dip and my dip. And just rubbing it along here, and I'm double dipping, all right? I want to get another, another petal on the other side. So I want this lighter purple on the outside, okay? So I'm going to actually do kind of backwards. Now, when you're painting at home, don't do as I'm doing. Don't do it backwards and upside down. Make your hand be natural the way you're going. I suggest you turn your canvas around to whichever angle that feels natural for your hand. I'm only doing it like this, kind of upside down and backwards so you can just see the stroke better, okay? Because I don't want to keep taking off my canvas and turning it. But at home, I suggest you turn your canvas. All right, here we go. I'm going to go on this side now. And I'm wiggling. Oh, I got a lot of paint on there. I'm going to try to spread it out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And squishing that brush right down. Maybe a little bit too much squishing there. All right? I think you get the idea of how I'm building the iris. All right, and it's, it doesn't have to be exactly as you see in nature. No flower, well, there are perfect flowers in nature, but it doesn't have to be a perfect flower. 
And so I think I'll come over to this side and we'll just get another little one over here and kind of pull that in like this, okay? Again, I did it upside down, okay? So I'm gonna say it again, practice at home. You can get yourself a piece of glass out of a frame and just practice and keep wiping it off. Now, this side, I'm gonna come down and do kind of one that's hanging. So I'm gonna start in here because I have this like kind of overload of paint in there. So watch how I spread that out. I'm laying the brush flat. I'm pushing a little harder, wiggling. I'm doing it in slow motion. Wiggle, see the brush wiggling? You can see the bristles. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come to the end and push it back up real hard. Okay, so there we have a kind of crooked iris, but I think that you get the idea of it, okay? So just gonna get my brush in here and get some of that purple off. Again, I'm scrubbing it on the bottom of the grating. And I'm just gonna go to some, um, some green. Now the green again, the light avocado, very pretty color. I just rinsed that off a little bit. Here we go. And I'm just gonna pull down a stem. So I'm holding it up on the chisel edge, which means I flatten the brush and it's nice and straight there. And I'm just gonna pull a stem down. I'm actually pressing a little because I do want this stem a little bit thick. Down here, I'm gonna be putting in some, some tall greenery, maybe a fern. Oh, maybe I'll put a fern in there, okay? So like I said, with that painting, I just wanted to use the coloring and add some more, all right? So I think what I'll do is let's get a, um, I actually don't recall what the iris leaves look like, okay? But that's okay. We're just gonna wing it today and I'm just gonna put some long leaves in there and if it's not exactly an iris leaf, then it just will be a leaf from something else. <laughs> all right, so here we go. I'm just gonna come in here and put a couple of these in for now, okay? So I just put some of the banana cream, uh, that's the yellow, and some of the light avocado. Now, you can see I didn't have enough paint on here, so I could go to my medium, but what I did was I just added a little more paint, and see I'm filling that in, and you can see it blended when I went back and forth on it, just pulling to the chisel edge, coming back down. Now, see in here, I covered up that stem, that's okay. Just going back into my green and watch this. Right back down, neatening it back up, okay? So I'm just standing back a little bit, take a look at that. And I'm going to put in some of these tall, tall green, just to fill it in a little bit. I didn't like the way that sun looked or the little um, birds. I'm gonna put a couple butterflies in just some tall grasses, but I'd like to show you the butterflies, I think, even before I go to those grasses, all right? Um, because there's a couple different ways to do these butterflies, and it's, it's a lot of fun to do butterflies. So I have my butterfly shirt on today, a nice big old gym shirt um, with some of the colors that I liked, and I'm gonna be doing the butterflies on that side so it looks like they're aiming towards the iris, okay? So all I did was rinse my brush off and I just pat it dry. I'm going into this, uh, it's called the Victorian Blue. Again, another beautiful color, and I'm still gonna use that wisteria. Now, all I'm going to do to do a butterfly is a form of a leaf, all right? The same wiggle motion, but a leaf on the side. So I'm just gonna wiggle and see I'm pushing the brush, wiggling, and I'm thinking of the outside um, wings. I almost forgot what that was called on the butterfly. There's just say a very whimsical outside wing of a butterfly, all right? Again, I'm dipping again. I'm going to come over here. Oop, I wanna put my, my lighter purple in there. And again, and I'm just wiggling, wiggling. See, I didn't have enough paint on there. And I'm coming back up. Now, this is a leaf and also flower petals, we do the same way, all right? So I'm coming back into my wisteria and my blue, my Victorian blue. I'm just gonna come over again. All right, and you can see I got a little bit sloppy in there and I can still try to fix it and fix it and fix it. But you know what? I think it's pretty good, okay? It's not so bad. I can always come in here with a little brush or try to use the corner to fill this in, and it really depends on how particular um, you are with your paintings. So this is going to be one side of a butterfly, all right? I'm going to do another one, and I think, let me see if I, no, I think I'll just make it smaller by not pushing so hard, all right? So what I'm doing again is I'm going the same colors because it'll be like a little family of butterflies, and maybe I'll come over here and I'll just do a small one. This one I'll do maybe just like a little leaf, 
for a wing, okay? So there's like a little leaf wing, okay? So maybe that's the mommy and that's one of the kids. <laughs> so let's, let's do one more. I'll do three. We'll have three little butterflies here. So it'll be like they're all trying to go for that nice iris. And then I'll come in and put the body in. Okay, same. Here we go. Some little leaves. That's the same way that I do leaves. That's, you can use those for butterflies. So I'm going to put my brush right back in that water. Rinse it out a little bit. All right. I may need that brush again. So I'm just putting them in the little holders in this um, nice water basin. So I need a small brush because now I'm going to put the body of the butterfly in. So I'm going to use a color that's called soft black. It's not pitch black. It's like a brown black. And I'm just rolling this round brush. Okay, this is a small round. My number, uh, I'm not sure what number it is. Sorry, it got rubbed off. I use this so much. Um, but it's just one of the small rounds. All right. And just going to come in and I'm going to just press the brush and pull. Okay. Notice how I anchor, uh, ankle, I'm, no, sorry about that. An anchor my finger. All right, here we go. And pull. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing and then I'm pulling up lighter to try to get this little, this little look there, okay? So they're leaning a little backwards. I meant to have them leaning that way, but that's okay. I think you understand what I'm doing. So again, let me try to come on this angle. This one, of course, I'm making a little bigger. There we go. My hand shook a little there. And that paint is still a little wet. That's okay. And you can see I'm just kind of painting it in and going down to the chisel edge. So again, I wanted them to lean that way, and they didn't. You get the idea of it. So when you do yours, like I said, you'll take your time and you'll have them actually flying towards your flowers and not like they're leaning back, okay? So I'm going to come in and put little antenna in there. So I'm just dotting and just pulling a little, little ones over, okay? Just like this. Like I said, you'll take your time, be a little neater. I need a little more paint. So with this, you'll just use the tip of the brush or you'll get a thinner brush. My brush is a little bit too thick for this, but it's okay. I can come back in here. Look, I can make his head a little bigger. I mean, there's all ways that you can fix this, all right? See what I'm doing? I'm just kind of filling in that little head and he'll be a little bigger. I could do the same thing over here, try to fix this. Oh, shaking a little bit again. Okay, so there we have three butterflies. Like I said, it's a whimsical painting, doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so I'm putting my, uh, my brush, washing that off. I'm going to put it back in here again in this little holder. All right, let's see what else. So I want to put some greenery on the bottom. So I think for the greenery, I'm going to go back to the big brush. All right, this way we can fill it in pretty quickly. So this is already wet. You can see I'm just going like this and smoothing out the chisel edge. Okay, there we go, a little water came out. And I'm just gonna go into my green with a little bit of the banana cream. So it's a light avocado with some banana cream. And I'm going to pull up some greenery, so let's see. So if I start from the bottom here, flat edge, I'm just gonna push, 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 push. Notice I don't have enough paint, okay? See in here, that's no problem. All I have to do is go dip again all right, getting that paint back on there. It dried out a lot. It dried pretty quickly, probably under these lights. And I can fill it in again, and I can keep doing it until I'm filled in there. All right, now I'm doing this again on an angle. You can turn your canvas whichever way is easier for you. All right, back again into the paint. So I think since it's drying so fast, I'm just going to dip into my extender medium. And I might have just dipped a little too hard, so we're going to see. All experimenting. All right, so I have this one straight one, and I don't want everything straight like that. So I'm going to go on an angle now. And let me see this angle, and I'll just push a leaf up like this and maybe push another one up, okay? So this way we'll start to just fill in this bottom a little, and I have a lot of yellow on this brush. I can go back in, put more green, and we'll start to fill in, all right? There we go. I'm going right over that middle, right over and I'm going to do that again. So I need a lot of that green on there because that's where I'm having trouble with the drying. So there we go. See, I took my time and went slower. Now that iris looks like it's in the back, but I think I'm going to put another leaf right in there in the middle anyway. So I'll just come up in the middle here like this. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing, just pulling it up in bunches. So at first when you do this, 
You just have to learn the stroke, okay? Then you'll learn angles and which way to put the angle of the leaf, what you like, okay? So for now, I just want to fill in the page. I wanted to show you all the beautiful colors of the paint, all right? So, you know, in this quick of a show, at least I get to show you some, some, tick, um, some, sorry, some tricks and tips, and then you can decide from there what you want to do. All right, there we go. Pulling a few up here. All right, and I lost my chisel edge there, so I'll just kind of pull a little lighter at the end. I just keep going back and getting more paint. I think I'll do one flat here and make a real big one sticking up like this. All right, and you can see I'm going over. I'm a little dry there, that's okay. Could always put something else there to cover it. All right, I can go this way and turn it, turn it, turn it, and pull it up. Okay, so you can see how it's starting starting to look nice. It's the coloring. The colors are so beautiful that it'll be hard not to look nice. So in here, I, could even, I can even throw in a little fern. I mean, you can put whatever you decide in. So now I'm going to just twist. You can see I'm just twisting them a little. I'm going to go over some. I just want to kind of squeeze a few in there. All right, so see, I'm just kind of squeezing some in. So what I'll do is I'll put down the big brush and go to a smaller brush now. All right, so this again, this is number 12. I'm using the same colors again, okay? And I can just come back in here and see, I can overlap some, okay? Here we go. Let's see what else. Ah, let's see what else we can add on. I have some flowers in my other one we can add. For now, I just want to put in some, some little, little vines and things. Maybe we can put a couple of vines. All right. So I think it looks pretty good. The coloring is just so pretty. It's really hard to do wrong. So you see how I'm putting some um, thin ones in between the big ones, and maybe I'll pull something up into there too now. So this is, this is how we kind of create as we go along. Like I said, I had a, the colors in mind, and I wanted to do something a little bit different, okay? You can see that's dry, so I'm going to go back get more paint again. So I am using a lot of paint, all right? But this paint goes a long way. So you don't have to keep buying paint because one little jar of this and you can do multiple paintings, okay? So I could just fill that in a little bit like that, all right? So let me step back. I think that looks pretty with all the, uh, the greenery. Now, on the bottom, I put in some, some grasses, all right? I'm just going to put my brush in there for now. What I did, uh, not some grasses, like some little, little bushy grass, I guess you will call it. I'm using this um, three quarter inch blender mop, which is great for blending skies and all. In this case, I just want to fill in a little and I want to do it quickly. So that's what I can do with this. Now, I don't think I want to use the same green. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking the light avocado and I'm just pouncing it in there a little bit, but I'm taking some of that soft black and I'm just going to mix it a little. All right, I'm going to get kind of like a a greenish color, but I just wanted to darken it a little bit. I didn't want that same green, all right? So here we go. You can see it's kind of a green color, but not really. It's got that brown. Now, all I'm doing is just punching it on here. I'm just kind of pushing the brush, okay? I don't want to go in a pattern, all right? We don't want a pattern. We want it to be, you know, an up and down, up and down look to it. Just coming back, getting more more paint. I'll just come over to the side, push some of this on. You can go as high as you like and just kind of pushing and pushing. You can see up here. I'm just kind of not pushing as hard because I like the idea of having it look a little more airy and not so full and see, I can go back again here. All right, there we go. I want to fill in this little part in here Then I'm going to step back. Of course, when you do your painting, you want to step back and you want to take a peek at what you're doing. And you may say, oh my goodness, she's covering up all those, all the greenery. But I wanted to make it look like everything is behind it. And that's what happens. When you put something in the front, this all looks like it's behind now. And I could even make it a little darker, like put a little dark if I wanted, and that'll make it look even further back, okay? So I want to just make this a little bit more airy on top, you can see. A little more airy, okay? So step back a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Um, after I put this brush in the water, I can't use it again. It has to dry, all right? So I'm just going to put it in the water. One thing I do want to do is show you that you can add little flowers in here too. So I want to at least get one in there. Now, right now, I'm using the uh, number 10 Deco Art Traditions flat brush, banana cream, and some sugared peach. 
It's such great names they have, banana cream, sugared peach. So I'm just going to do a little wiggle flour, a little, a little five petal flour, and maybe I'll just put it right here because I know this is pretty dry. All right, so I'm just going to wiggle just like I wiggled the butterfly. Okay, I can see I need a lot more paint. So just as the same wiggle as the butterfly, I can just put a couple little flowers in. All right, so I'm just going around, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's picking up a little of that green. That's okay. I'm going to get a little bit more paint. So I didn't let it dry enough. You know, when you go over, it's good to let it dry a little. See, up there wasn't as dry. So, I mean, is drier. So you can tell when the paint is dry, it picked up a little. But that's all right. Like I said, this is a whimsical painting. Nothing has to be exact. I just wanted to show you these beautiful colors, okay? So look at what happens once you put a flower in there, how that really makes that look nice, all right? So I'm go, going to do one more flower here. And I think that's all we'll have time for today. So I hope that you enjoyed the lesson and that you learned a little bit. See, I'm just wiggling. Let me go back again, because I see I'm doing it so fast. All right, so I'm holding the brush flat and I'm wiggling up and pulling it into the middle. Now you can see that green in there because that leaf wasn't 100% dry. That's all right. So you could do four or five petals. I like to do five, so I squish a little one in there. All right, so I think that looks uh, really pretty. I like the idea of having three. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back again. I'm just gonna throw a real little one fast in here. And all I'm doing to make it smaller is I'm just not pushing the brush down as much. All right. So let me make sure I can get this one in here real fast. And to dot the middles, very easy. I'm using the end of the brush. So let's see what color I want to dot those middles. I may go with that pink. There we go. There we go. And that's it. Okay. So thank you for tuning in today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this. I'm going to add just a little bit more while we're running the, um, the credits and all and the paint colors. And I really hope that you'll tune in and see my other shows.